Hello, ExoSage here on the Sage channel, and I'm doing something a little bit different here. I don't plan to play through the whole game, but I'm definitely going to give it a little bit of a play, and just my first time into it, and we'll see how it starts up. So, gone ahead, tweaked the sound down to about 50%, FOV up to 75, which is the max, and let's just go ahead and do play. Got a few DLC things here that come with the Deluxe Edition or whatever, a bit silly that there's day one DLC stuff. But if you did pre-order, you instantly got the crew expendable downloadable content, at least I'm pretty sure that's the one. It's on the original ship, I believe, from the first Aliens movie, or Alien movie. And, uh, let's just hit Alien Isolation, start game, and let's do medium difficulty. <laughs> Still a challenge, but you may survive. Third make your way to the experience of the game, challenging and terrifying. Mm, I'm tempted to do medium, but let's try hard, shall we? Oh goody, a slider to adjust visibility till you can barely see it. That looks about right. I can see it there, but let's go one above. And I've hit enter to confirm. Apparently you can't use the numpad enter. <laughs> Three wire systems aboard the station is handy way to... Okay, well my game loaded fast enough I couldn't read it through that. Awesome! And I do have subtitles on, so if you want to see any of that silliness, you should be able to. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. I think they re-recorded this for this game. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Or at least she didn't get picked up. Wonderful This is one. Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Her voice seems slightly deeper. Yeah, I figured that was the text being shown in the background during that section. Her voice seems slightly deeper than I remember in the original movie. Or maybe it was quite a somber moment. It's possible it was actually that deep. I know they had her there to record new lines for the... DLC portion that takes place. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a... Uh, Permanent free port. I know what it is. And they don't have any company on board that can just bring it back to their space? Uh huh. Right. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. Well, I guess space travel isn't too travel easy out. for them. We. They need the crowd Me sleeps and all that. And another exec. And you, if you're willing. Some nice detail in the background here. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Mm -hmm. Right. And hard cut to probably on the ship already, I'm suspecting. Yeah, sounds like it. 
I'd probably be waking up from cryo sleep if I was to take a guess at what's about to happen. Looks like it. Yep. Ooh. Wow. I wonder if all that what we just saw was in game or if it was pre rendered. This is in game, I'm pretty sure. It looks damn nice. And please sign in. Alright. Let's look down. And no legs. I was really hoping we'd have legs, considering they let you look down for a second. That's immersion breaking a little bit. Crouch, no legs showing up. Uh, yeah, this is actually how I play games, even when I'm not recording, by the way. I look at stuff a lot. God, there's some nice detail in here, too. I recently played through the Bioshock Infinite DLC Part 2, and I spent probably 40 minutes in pairs. If you've played that DLC, you know you're only supposed to spend about 5 to 10. You just signed in. So, if you look at this... We got Samuels, who else we got? Mm-hmm. With a picture, very professional. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Very nice. <laughs> Look at the size of the speaker. Okay, it's down there. Let me not spend all month just poking around. I like the fact that they're trying, what do you mean search? Compounds, what? Uh, yeah, sure, take all. Find blueprints to help craft items from the components. <laughs> this one already looks like it's open. So that one was probably one of the only ones that wasn't open. That's pretty cool. They really did do pretty well on the whole, like, uh, late, late 70s, early 80s vibe thing in the jiggity, didn't they? Even the magazines look wonderfully outdated. I always wondered, back then, were the colors really that faded, or is that just because stuff fades over time? Anyway, let me go ahead and sign in. Ripley's Slice. Here we go. Got a key card. <laughs> That's it? What was the point of that? <laughs> Here's something wonderful they're doing right now. Because of course you're the last one to wake up. I think what they're trying to do is say, Oh no, why were you the last to wake up? What's happened to everybody? Is this where I get dressed or are they saying to go somewhere else? Oh, this just closes them all. Alright, can I climb in here? <laughs> that would've been funny. Okay, well... Oh, wow. Have you ever seen the movie Moon? This reminds me of it more than aliens right now. It's just god dang beautiful. Ooh, that's wonderful. Okay, so that's apparently an airlock. Let's go to the airlock first. Oh, god. I hope this is a whole ship we can just explore. When this game was first announced, I saw some of the artwork. I, I was messaging the devs almost constantly, just saying, please, let us have, like, a... DLC or game mode where you just look around and admire the ship because look at this this is actually beautiful they did a great job these are actually modeled or at least you know they're a flat plane that's been morphed that is awesome that, because I thought they were just a projected texture for a second on the floor they're not this is pretty cool arrows where are we going uh, caution so this must be an airlock let's uh, do something stupid let's see if we can throw ourselves out the airlock shall we no, no overrides, nothing, no. <laughs> there's no buttons in here at all, which I find a bit strange. Oh wait, there's one. No, nothing. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. God, I love this. Nice suits, can I actually put one of these on? It said get dressed, I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna explore the whole ship before I actually go and properly get dressed if they let me. And I'm hoping they'll actually have a scene where somebody goes, go, Ripley, go get dressed, what are you doing just walking around? Oh, this is really cool here. The way they actually have the panel off the... <gasps> How much of this stuff can I move? Oh, I can move lots of it. Not that, though, unfortunately. Which probably makes sense. It's a welding thing. Probably heavy. That's a really cool idea that there's machinery behind all these panels. This one's popped open. These actually look like uh, racks on an airplane, where you stick your luggage almost. Bit strange that they have that much random storage on this ship. What's through this door? Oh, there's somebody there. Let's learn these... What do these things mean? Maybe nothing, I don't know. Hello. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. Mm. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. To, right, and what they had on board the ship at the end. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. 
I didn't Realize count the cryopods when we were built. been missing for 15 years, and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? <laughs> He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. We'll both you get what we want, probably. And she just goes, hmm. Now what does that mean? By the way, I think I figured out some of these. That's probably an airlock on the right, elevator, and then not sure what the middle one is yet. Arrow to parson, not sure. Nice sleeping areas, some nice magazines. <laughs> Cassettes, they went all out on that, didn't they? Like keeping the old vibe. Oh, no way. By the way, check this shoe out. If I can bump it. There we go. And whee! Some glitchiness there with a collision that's apparently just a ball or something. It's not actually properly rounded. And oh, I guess I was hoping this would work. Okay, I use up and down to highlight things, which I can use W and S. Very good. E to select. And I can use, I guess, probably scroll wheel. It says page up and page down. That's not exactly logical. Oh boy. Here we go. That's going to be a lot of stuff, isn't it? And yeah, you can use the scroll wheel or the page up and page down buttons. Okay. So this is a message. I just read through it all. It's a message between Taylor and... Who is the other guy? Oh, God dang it. Saul. And basically... They're saying there's not much information to go on. It looks like Taylor's actually trying to find out more information on it. And they're saying the crew was all pretty bog-standard people that knew one each other for a long time, except for their new buddy, their android. I believe it's the android, their science officer. I'm pretty sure that was the android. Uh, I'm still expecting Q is back. There we go. Go down to this. Torrens Manifest. Groovy. I suspect that's the ship we're on right now. So apparently the ship has a crew of two and has two decks. And everyone on board is a Wayland Utoni person. Or at least, uh, all the guests are. Oop, wrong button. Let's get out of here. That's pretty cool. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff in this game. <laughs> God, they, they went all out on this. So another airlock this way, whatever that is. Maybe that's a bridge. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, do I have an inventory? Let's press I, O, K, E, Q, Nothing. If I do, it probably won't open up till later. I am a little disappointed that that didn't open open all the way, but at least you can see they actually modeled an interior there. Pretty cool. Uh, right, different types of food. <laughs> Milk. Cookies. Crackers. They went all out, didn't they? More cookies. Oh. Coffee. I'd expect the liquids to be up here and like come out of these things here, not... Hmm. A bit strange. I guess that's cereal up there or something as well. Do I have a flashlight? No. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. A lot of detail. Yeah, I do feel like I've just walked back in time a bit here, though. <laughs> you smell mold? Ooh. Oh. So when I said that thing looked like an airlock, it, I, it was an airlock pretty much, I think. And close. Or not. Hmm. Alright, let's keep on moving. Can I sit on this? It's weird how those things pop out. It's interesting, though. Yeah, let's go this way now. <laughs> Nicely done game. A little creepy sound there. Another door here. Brilliantly blocked. <laughs> I can see that being creepy when you're trying to sneak around, and then of course it might hear it. I like this though. You see what they've done here? They've purposely blocked different doorways and stuff. And it's seeing how it is dark up there, I'm not sure we'll ever be able to get up there. So we might be off the ship for good pretty soon. We'll find out. I can't sprint or anything either, I've just noticed. Oh, hello. Never mind me uh, walking around pretty much naked. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. He needs a machine. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. A well-maintained ship. I realize it's yeah, a yeah, similar uh -huh. model to... The Nostromo. Yeah. Yes. This room Emperor looks like it's straight out of it. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked Let's engineering jobs here. on we'll ships like this. There. Of course. Not dead. Face over. Is Taylor up here? Yep. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. 
Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. You should probably get changed, Ripley. Verlaine will be calling us soon. I'm I'm so glad that they actually everyone points out the fact that I'm not dressed yet. That's that's a nice little touch. Oh, why are you closing up? But yeah, I love the fact that <laughs> because I was about to say like, hey, this looks like the same exact place from the Nostromo, and then all of a sudden he's going, yeah, this is a similar ship model. That's pretty damn cool. Next thing you know, we'll be all huddled around watching some facehugger stuck to something. Except for I doubt that we're going to be spending much time outside of this ship. Hmm. So I'm suspecting I have to go get dressed or else it's going to be this person here. That is interesting. I suspect you could have talked to people in the different orders and what they say might have been a diff bit different. Maybe? I don't know. There were two of them. I'm expecting a third in here, actually. Huh. Registration points. What is this, shower thing? Shower thing. Natural urges to look down knowing what character I am. I shall not. Uh, what floor? Okay. Sounds about the same, I don't believe it. <laughs> Smokes on the spaceship. Right. God, those doors are nice though. Come on. Come on, close. So they must just be on a timer, which is pretty good for running away. There's get dressed, there's a terminal, so let's look at this crew roster. What? Oh, I can just turn it on and off? Okay. So it shows the crew roster. Everyone's signed in, because of course they woke up and signed in. Another thing to search. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim almost. Can I read all this? Uh, if I zoom. Okay, let me just uh, really quick... Oh, okay, so that's what it meant when it was saying terminal thing. I thought for a second it meant, like, this terminal here. Which I suspect will have something different than the last one. Personal, yes. So that was basically saying, hey, do you have any uh, spare room you need a navigator? Because my friend's a navigator and he just lost his ship. And I guess all of his clients got picked up by Le Wayland Utoni. Whatever, let's log in. <laughs> Same card. Uh, Okay. You sure you want to overwrite your current save data? Uh, yes. Wow, only one save spot, so you can't go back if things go wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Please wait. So you can't just save right away. That's probably good. Okay, let's get dressed. I think we're out of things to do. Wow, that scared me. <laughs> I expected to see at least a few clothes in there. Uh, yeah, I'm dressed and still no feet. And this still does the same thing. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Mm -hmm. That shower's still on, I've just noticed. I wonder what will happen, because now I'm in my clothes, getting wet. I wonder if it'll save that. Do I have wet footprints? I don't have footprints at all. Unfortunate. Ooh. Well, that could be creepy. Let's just run back in here really quick to see if anything's changed. So there was one spare pod in here, if there's a crew of five. Right? Yes? Yes. Oh, wait, everyone signed in. Oh, no. So, yeah, there is one spare. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if the idea was to bring somebody back, or if it was just, hey, we have a spare spot. Which kind of makes sense that they would have a spare spot. And I've forgotten where they said to go. <laughs> Crap. Let me just uh, check for loot in here really quickly. I like the fact that the door's open before you get to them, too. It's kind of nice. Aha! I did do something. Oh, okay. Can I have laid down on that? That's pretty cool that you can actually do that. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting how much stuff they let you interact with. As I run up to stuff and that's not interacting, but still, it's a fair, it's a fair amount. Okay, so... Still can't go up the ladder. Wish I could sprint. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, am I sprinting? Oh, the sprint is just rubbish, I guess. I think it's this way. Yep. And then I'm going to assume that that was not an airlock after all, and that this thing right over here actually leads to the bridge area. Yep, it was. <laughs> Hope you all had a restful journey. 
The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. And it's been the You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing document? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Is that my briefing document right there? No? Yes? Right there, okay. There's three documents. Shouldn't there only be one? Alright. I wonder if I can carry on without even collecting that. Let's see. Or I'm suspecting the game won't actually change until I do pick it up. Yep, it's not going to change until I do pick it up. Oh, you're not doing that, are you? I thought he was going to do that creepy thing where he just follows you around. Every time you stop, he just stares at you. Ah, I bet you he is. I bet you money he actually is. And this ship has a crew of two people, even though... Look at all the seats. I mean, I guess it's just like the one. It's like the Nostromo, so it could have a house of a bunch of people, but... Okay, let's collect this. Oh, yep, sure enough, right away. It... Can we see it? Yeah, Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Why aren't they just Is looking at damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. Okay, so now they know there's a serious situation. They've seen damage. They should be cautious now. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. Right. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Mm. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. actually what I was thinking. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. So they know there's some sort of situation. They don't have proper radio. They can just do radio that. Ideally, she can talk to this ship, I guess, once they're on the other side. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Why are they going over there without confirming that it's safe over there? I mean, it's a huge station. They can see a lot, but... Oh. Why are they so far away from it as well? What? Ill-advised. Ill-advised. What happened here? So they got, like, space My buggy. god, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. And boom. You may have seen a trailer. Just keep moving! Taylor Ripley, hold on! And snag. I'm sort of expecting someone's glass to break here. Ooh, wait, that looked painful. Wait, how did you grab that? I thought you bounced. Okay. Samuel! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! I think Taylor has a piece of metal through her gut now. At least I saw that in a trailer, too. That's my way of complaining about a trailer. That's some nice stuff there. And gravity boots. Come on. No gravity boots? Okay, gravity So uh, they're gonna. The other two people are surely going to end up. S Sometimes attracted deadlier. Hmm. All right. 
So I'm sure the other two people are going to end up in another airlock somewhere. I know the one last tailor ends up with a bit of metal through her, and I bet you the other guy is just a machine. Oh, nice. I was worried about my FOB being lower. Groovy. Well, I'm actually going to leave it right here. So let's press this button, just in case something actually happens. And I'm actually going to keep playing and keep recording, but I'm not going to upload them right away. I'm probably going to upload them as unlisted, so if you want to... I'll have a playlist somewhere, so if you just want to look through them, sure. And see the little derpy, pretentious me looking at every little detail and probably maybe screaming every now and again. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching the game so far... I can't speak for how it actually plays. I just know they have a decent, decent FOV and a whole lot of incredible art detail in this game. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.